Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We tried different types of videos here on M Squared. Today is what's in our bag video. This is our main bag that we take out to pretty much all our shoots. It has evolved over the last three years that we've been doing this. It started with a smaller slim bag and then it went from that to sort of a medium sized bag. And this is sort of medium large. It's actually not super large it's just it's larger than our last bag so the bag we have is a low pro compute tracker aw i'm gonna go through it first thing with the bag really cushy cushy shoulder straps most important we had bags that weren't cushy before and it was kind of rough i like the chest strap as well as the waist strap on this just in case it gets too heavy or doing a long trek so mario the our m score camera guy actually does not like the waist straps and he doesn't actually use the chest straps that's his personal preference it's all good cushy back this is really cushy back those are side straps too and what that does is it allows the top pouch to zip down halfway so your stuff won't fall out and then you just pull the camera out like so here we go uh, it's open it's a clip for the back bag which is a laptop pouch you can put your laptop in here up to a 17 inch laptops i believe we don't want to carry laptops in here because we don't really do any editing on the road so we carry the sort of our you know scripts and notes we carry the vancouver talk sign that we usually put on the tripod so people can come by and walk and go hey what's this filming and we just point to the sign let's check the bottom pouch this pouch here with a velcro there's actually a tripod pouch that comes out where i can put tripod legs in here and then strap the tripod in with another strap which i don't actually have and it didn't came with this bag i got this bag on craigslist it wasn't completely brand new good deal really good deal half the price really magic fiber i got this for the battery grip for the camera that i have microfiber cloth for the lenses this is lens filters three different types of lens filters polarized i can't remember the other ones are but so we sometimes use that especially when it's a sunny day just less glare on the lens. Mario wanted to buy that, so I got it. That's pretty cheap. And it does work. Oh, this pen came with the uh, lenses. It's got like a little uh, brush at the end for, you know, cleaning lenses. And then it's got a little firm sponge brush at the other end. This chain is actually used to attach the entire bag to the tripod and like weight the tripod down and like hang the bag. Let's go to the bottom. Big Velcro. The bottom is actually the pouch where the rain guard is and this goes around the whole entire bag to keep the bag waterproof. This pocket here, this uh, top flap pocket, we got pens, got two of them just in case I lose one obviously. Got a little notepad for writing other notes. We got our Imscore cards, old versions actually, I don't put new versions in here yet. Oh actually we do have a new version in there, so that's the new card. And then we got the hot shoe wire adapter, so it converts the top hot shoe of the camera to three accessories. Usually our mic and light when we filmed at night. This is the battery bag. I got double A's, I got two extra Canon batteries, I got a extra light battery. I got this battery grip adapter for the double A's. You don't want to run out of batteries in a shoot. Goes in there. All right, time for the main pouch. This is where all the hardcore gear goes. All right, we got a lot of stuff in here. Really, we do. Canon T5i 700D camera, battery grip attached to it. 18 to 55 millimeter lens. Optech USA shoulder strap. Got our Rode Micro mic. We got extra extension cables, 3.5 millimeter stereo. We've got the covers for the lens that's on the camera. We got a lens, what's it called? Lens shield. Uh, the M Square Zoom H4n. We used to have a furry one if you watch the older M Square and Cooper Talks videos. So this is the newer one. I like this one better. I don't get you know pieces of hair in my mouth. The fur doesn't come off everywhere. I'm able to put the M Square logo on it, so it's cool. It's just more visible when you're on the street. I got a 24 millimeter lens and then a 50 millimeter lens. Got the, also the 55 to 250 zoom lens, I think. Yeah. I got the newer CN216 light. So this is for filming in the nighttime. And then that comes with uh, light filters. I got the case for the zoom, which I'm actually using to record. So the zoom's right here. I, I plugged in the lav mic and I'm recording on the zoom for the audio for this. So, but it usually goes in this case and goes right into that slot. The flap, flap's got one, two, three pouches. Okay, so top left pouch. It's got extra SD cards. It's got a remote 
for the camera, uh, for the T5i camera to take photos remotely. Right pouch has got fuses. I can't remember where this goes to. I think it goes to the light. Oh, it's got a wind breaker for the one of the laps. I don't remember which one that one was either. Got a quarter inch to three and a half stereo adapter. I like this, it's got a little flaps here. This protects the zipper from the rest of the camera gear on top. The lower big pouch, white balance cards, black and gray. Most cameras don't need this because you can just white balance automatically and it looks fine on YouTube. USB 2.0 card reader with also a SIM card reader as well. This was my main card reader for the computer, but I bought a USB 3.0 for faster transfers. So I like to keep this in the bag, it's tiny, just in case you need to transfer some files for clients. Hot shoe adapter, so I can put the Zoom 4 on top of the camera. And also in this bottom bag, I usually have the pouch. This pouch here has all the stuff for our Sennheiser wireless audio, Sennheiser EW100 G2, and that usually fits in the main pouch area. And then this goes in the bottom pouch. Another lav, headphones, three and a half inch audio Y adapter to two three and a half inch inputs, one for headphone and one going out to camera from the Zoom 4 line out jack. Hot shoe mount for the receiver end of the Sennheiser. So back and it goes on top of the camera or on top of the Y adapter. Three and a half inch cables for the wireless Sennheiser XLR out on one of them. You have those options just in case you need it. You know, you want them in the one zip lock bag so you have quick access to it and you know that all the stuff that's in here has to do with the wireless mics. That way you're not looking through the bag, looking through all of them, right? Okay, so that's, that's that. If you have any questions, just comment below. Watch the other videos. Check out the Cube channel for vlogs. Not daily, weekly, maybe monthly. Whenever I post a vlog, there's no consistency. I should say there's no consistency. I mean, there's not really a set schedule for the vlogs. I just post them. So subscribe to it. Get alerts for it so you can see the vlogs. Yeah, thanks for supporting. Share, like, subscribe. Imp Square out.